Bulgaria, Serbia and Romania. It's less known and now people discover that here it's absolutely great and fabulous. It's just so totally different than what I expected. And I think people need to come and see it because it'll change their whole mindset about what's here. These have been hidden gems and I'm so glad we came. I couldn't highly recommend it enough. It's a wonderful experience. This Gate 1 tour of the Balkans begins in Bulgaria with a stay in the lively capital city of Sofia. Next, we travel to Serbia, where we will stay in Belgrade, whose long and storied history is reflected in its diverse architecture. We continue our journey into Romania, where we will first visit the colorful city of Timisoara, and we will stay in the charming town of Sibiu. Our journey through Transylvania continues with a stay in the mountainous town of Brasov, and we will visit Bran Castle, famous for the legendary story of Count Dracula. Our tour concludes in the capital city of Bucharest, named the Paris of the East for its stunning architecture, distinctive history, and vibrant culture. Welcome to Bulgaria! Sofia probably was my favorite town. I really like the feel. Every turn was a surprise and it just got better and better the more I learned and the more I saw. I loved where our hotel was, the fact that you could just walk out and see the cathedral right there and just walk around that main area. In Sofia, we have the option to visit Rila Monastery. The monastery at Rila was really awesome. The beautiful scenery around the monastery as well as the monastery itself. It was just amazing. The pictures do not do it justice. It's huge, it's so peaceful, so relaxing, and it really is almost a Zen experience. It was amazing. Serbia was beautiful. I had no idea the number of fortresses and cathedrals and churches, and it was so clean. The people were very proud of their country. I was happy to be there. Belgrade was amazing. The place that we stayed, it's just a fantastic art deco hotel in the center of town. Lovely old fashioned hotel. Just really great to walk around the old town with the cobblestones. It was really nice walking there. I loved walking around the old fortress. Belgrade is very beautiful. I didn't imagine it was gonna be so green. This area is really beautiful, so I'm loving it. Romania on this trip has been my favorite destination. The multiple cities that we've been to in Romania have been fantastic. Sigishwara was really, really nice. They had a wonderful clock tower. We were able to climb up in the clock tower and, and see a, a view of the entire city in all directions. Timisoara was a really fun place. The square was beautiful. The hotels have been unbelievably centrally located. So you got to walk out and you were right there among the fountains overlooking the beautiful cathedral. I mean, it's just been incredible. In Sibiu, we have a lovely walk through this city center. All the old buildings from 16th, 17th centuries, the roofs have windows which have the shape of an almond eyes. You have that feeling that you are watched. Brasov to me was just beautiful. The town was lovely, the bells were ringing, the pigeons were flying. It was a real slice of life. In Brasov, we visit the very first Romanian school. We saw the cutest little professor and curator. Everybody wanted to go up and give him a hug. But it was set amongst the mountains and the trees. It was so beautiful and so clean and it was hard to leave there. I'm a very big Dracula fan, so I was very interested in going to Transylvania and to Brand Castle. It was a lot of fun with everybody on the trip, putting in the little vampire teeth. The castles are something that, that I really enjoy. So Dracula's castle was really nice, and then the castle of Pelez was really, really nice as well. Pelez for me was spectacular. My husband and I were talking later about which one did we prefer, Pelez or Versailles, and I thought Pelez was nicer. The moment we reach the capital, Bucharest, people are very much surprised. Nobody expects to see Bucharest as it is. You have no idea till you get here how beautiful some of these buildings are. And we got to go to the parliament today, which was the second largest building in the world, so that was really amazing. Got to view the stunning inside, got a private tour. It was really, really very beautiful. 
This is our fifth Gate 1 tour. This is my 14th Gate 1 tour. This is my 15th Gate 1 tour. This is my husband and my 22nd Gate 1 tour. What I really like about Gate 1 is that they just make it so easy for you. They take care of your luggage, they take care of the hotels, so you can just wake up every morning and wonder what great adventure you're going to have. The tours, including local tour guides and a tour guide with us the entire time, it really is a totally carefree experience. Stefan has been great. He's been a wonderful tour guide. Very pleasant individual with tons of, of knowledge and I really, really enjoyed him. He really tried to impart the local flavor in all the countries. You could really feel his passion as a Romanian. When we came to Romania, how he tried to explain what life was like now and under communism. The people on the tours are fun to be around. We made a lot of friends. Every tour we've been on have amazing people. Everybody is here to have a good time, to experience the local culture, to see the sights, even hang out in the free time. It's been great. People really enjoy each other and enjoy the trip. Travel is the only thing you buy that makes you richer. And you cannot go wrong with Gate 1. I would definitely recommend traveling with Gate 1 to Bulgaria, Serbia, and Romania. It's a little off the beaten track for most people, but I think that's what makes it very special. It gives you a chance to experience different cultures, a different way of life, and what more could you ask for? So come to the Balkans with Gate 1 Travel. It's going to be a spectacular adventure for you. Thank you, Gate One. <laughs>